In this new world video, we're gonna test Weaken versus the Empowerment Cap. So what we're basically testing is, we're testing if Weaken reduces our base amount of damage, or if Weaken acts as a minus Empowerment. We're also going to test if Weaken can reduce our Empowerment Cap. I'm already capped at Empowerment since I have a Honing Stone here. I have my Ring. I have a Kenium Powered Sword. I also have Oblivion that I'm going to place on the ground. And also, this is my stats for my character. And I'm also going to use Empowered Stab plus Leadership. This should put us about at 80% Empowerment. And the core gameplay is going to help me test this by using the Weaken on the Hatchet. As you know, Infected Flow also applies a 10% Weaken. So we're going to test this. Before we start this test, all that you need to know, if the damage stays the same, it means that Weaken reduces Empower. But if the damage gets reduced, it means that Weaken reduces the base amount of damage. And here is the base damage touch. Okay, 4 and all 7. As you just saw from our test, Weaken reduces Empowerment, meaning that Weaken doesn't reduce your base amount of damage but counts as a minus Empowerment. So if you are at Empowerment cap, which is 50%, and you apply a 10% Weaken, it means that you no longer will be at Empowerment cap. This is useful to know, but I would recommend never to cap yourself on Empowerment, since you will be wasting your damage and your build will be affected by it. If you want to make sure your build doesn't get capped on empowerment, go and watch this video playlist.